Hey guys, in the previous video, we talked about what is a call option. And we spoke about how you can buy calls or you can sell calls. Well, in this situation, or I should say in this video, we're going to talk about what is a put option. And whether it's in the case of a call or a put, we're still dealing with a promise. An option is a promise that you can buy or you can sell. So in the case of the call, if you sell that person the promise and the stock goes up in price, they make money. Or if you sell a call, you make money. If the stock moves sideways, goes a little up, but doesn't pass the strike price, you make money if it goes down. You may still end up being profitable if it doesn't drop too much. But if it goes up, you may have to, you will have to sell your shares of price, your shares of stock if it goes up past the specified price, which is the strike price. But you will get the money that you got from selling it. And any money that comes from moving up to where that strike price is. Now, in the case of a put, what is the promise? Well, first, as we said, when it comes to options, we're always dealing with 100 shares. We're going to use the same example we use with call option. We're dealing with PepsiCo. The strike price is 162.50 because at the time this was put together it was 161.99 for PepsiCo and we wanted it to be near the share price or what they would call at the money. The expiration date January 19th of 2024, 85 days from when this was actually put together. And the price, the price for the put, $765. Now, you can buy puts or you can sell puts. When I do my analysis on a stock, I actually tell you, based on the P.E. ratio, where I feel that stock can go to. I'm not looking at the analysis on PepsiCo right now, but let's just imagine for a second I was. And let's imagine that I was to say, based on the P.E. ratios over the last five years, I feel this stock could fall to $150. Right now it's at $161.99. I feel it could fall to $160 or $150. So, I'm going to check something. Epsico. I'm going to say sell to open. I'll do this with 29 days from now. And I'm going to make a strike price 
of a hundred and fifty dollars well it's not much but let's say I wanted to sell an option for a month from now with a $150 strike price on Charles Schwab, I could be paid $17.75 for selling that option. Obviously, you're going to be looking for deals which are much better. Let's say I was to change the strike price to 155. It doesn't go up much, $12.85. But the prices vary from stock to stock. The prices will vary. And they'll also vary based on what strike price you're aiming for. So, you can, if, if there's a certain stock that you want to buy, but it's not at a price that you want to buy it at, you feel if it drops a little more, I'm going to buy it, you can actually sell a put and get paid for buying that stock. A couple of things you should be aware of. First, if the stock doesn't fall, stock price doesn't fall to that level, or if it falls to that level but moves back up before expiration, you still get the money that you got for selling the option, but you won't get the shares anymore. The other thing is when you do this, you have to have the money in the account. So let's say you were going to sell an option with a $150 strike price on Pepsi. You have to have $15,000 in the account. You may also be able to have 7500 in cash and 7500 available in margin not too sure on that you could check that but you have to have the money available in the account so with a put you can sell a put and that's a guarantee you're selling somebody a promise that if the stock price falls to this price, you're going to buy 100 shares of their stock for it. Or you can buy a put. Now, if you buy a put, that's a different story. If you're expecting the market to go down, let's say in this case, PepsiCo is at $161.99, but you feel it's going to drop further. You feel it could drop to as low as $140. You could actually buy a put with a $162.50 stock um, strike price, and if... PepsiCo goes down, the further it goes down, you will be making money. On the other hand, if it goes up while you're holding that put, you'll be losing money. Sometimes there's times in the market where maybe you're holding three or four different stocks. But the market is going down. The S&P 500 is going down. The Dow is going down. The NASDAQ is going down. And most of the things in the market are going down as well, including your stock portfolio, 
Well, in a situation like that, you may leave your stocks, but buy a put on the SPY. And then when the rest of your stocks are going down and losing value, the put that you have on the SPY is actually gaining value and making up for the money that you're losing on the other stocks. So it is very useful to at least have an understanding of call options and put options and have the ability to trade them in your account so that if a situation or a scenario like that arises, you can take advantage of it. What I will be doing moving forward from here, um, like I said, I do find options trading riskier because if you're buying options, if you're selling options, they're less risk. But if you're buying options, they're more risk than buying stocks. But having said that, when I'm going through every week I do this week's stock winners, I talk about what stocks that are at their annual low price started to move up. And what I may start doing inside of there is including the prices of a few options for those who are interested. Okay, guys. So I look forward to seeing you in the next video.